I'm glad Alpha didn't haze me. <laughs> I'm just saying, now you know, I'm not with that. I would have been like, nope, sorry. Do you know that hazing? Part of the definition of hazing is like if I give you a pin to wear. Really? Yeah. If I give you a pin to put on, that's hazing. Just the and it could be like the letters. What? That's hazing. That's hazing. Yeah. I uh, would. I would do that all day. Yeah, and that's I actually I just, kind I of had to, I just had to put, put on like a little badge of honor. Yeah, I'm trying to join this group. What's yeah. up? So not like the the you know the paddling and the yeah, so the drowning and all that stuff. Yeah, no. Yeah, like there's a lot more involved in hazing than just what yeah. is shown in that. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. But let me define hazing because uh, I think it's important for us to define hazing by way of the dictionary, yeah. so then okay. we can unpack things like wearing a pin. Mm-hmm. how that's translated to hazing quote unquote when by definition hazing as defined by oxford languages the imposition of strenuous often humiliating tasks as part of a program of rigorous physical training and intimidation okay also second, wait wait there, yeah. also defined as humiliating and sometimes dangerous initiation rituals especially as imposed on college students seeking membership to a fraternity or sorority. But if we take it a step further and define haze, haze is a force to perform strenuous, humiliating, or dangerous tasks. So it's always humiliating. Or drive while on horseback. Okay, I don't think <laughs> I don't think that one has any. <laughs> that was an addition. I just I yeah, had to define that, all that the might different have been moments because like I think that might have been like a slang term or yeah. something back in the day. I don't but know. that brings me to my question: so Yeah, do sororities haze, and what is that process? Because when you when you think of hazing, you always think of the dudes. Yeah. You know, you always think of the 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 all the movies and and the all the news stories are always about some guy getting brutally hazed. But I've never once in my life, maybe they like I'm sure sororities do, but I've never once in my life heard of some girl in a sorority getting hazed, at least not outwardly, not publicly. So going off of her the definition, I feel like that in itself is very subjective as well. Um, like I said, if you're wearing a pin, so when I was in on campus, my Greek director from campus wrote the, like that book, like mm-hmm. what defined hazing oh, okay. for all organizations. She was part of that group of like the e-board of like what defined hazing, what didn't, mm-hmm. like what that entailed. Um, and if I'm wearing a pin and that's defined as hazing to you, I don't feel like that's hazing. Yeah. I'm choosing to wear the pin. I'm choosing to um, wear this outfit. I'm choose like, it's all a it's, choice. Yeah, you can do it if you want. Exactly. And I feel like, I don't, I don't know. Like it, it's, it's very subjective to say if you've been hazed or not. Okay. Um, yeah. I have a question. But is what if any- I as an individual, like I have an alpha pin, mm-hmm. right? Alpha isn't part of a Greek lettered organization. Well, there's hazing and everything, though. It's not just it's not just right. Greek letters. But I have an alpha pin that I'm not required to wear. Mm-hmm. Right. But in some instances, my chapter could say, hey, everybody needs to wear their pin for this particular event so that everybody knows that you're a part of the executive board for this particular mm-hmm. event, which could be the same in some Greek lettered organizations of like, Hey, you need to do X, Y, and Z so that everybody knows that you're a part of this organization in some way. And you as an active participant choose to do that. But in the Greek world, that would be considered hazing in the professional world. It, it's not considered hazy. 